Now, an argument that I've often heard by those who believe in a pre-trib rapture is that, well, you know, the church is never mentioned after Revelation chapter uh, 4, verse 1, so that proves a pre-tribulation rapture because the church isn't mentioned. Well, first of all, I like to base what I believe on what the Bible does say, not on what the Bible does not say. Okay, but secondly, they say that the church is not mentioned, yet you know what is mentioned? The saints. Because in Revelation 13, when the Bible is referring to the fact that the Antichrist will make war against God's people, it says in Revelation 13, 7, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So I've often heard them say, well, the church is never mentioned after Revelation chapter 3. And then, but it's mentioned again in Revelation 19, they'll say. So you don't see the church from chapters 4 all the way to chapter 19. But here's what's funny. You know who's mentioned in chapter 19? The saints. Jesus Christ comes back with all his saints. So obviously the saints in chapter 19 are the same type of people as the saints in chapter 13. So just because the word church isn't used, believers are still mentioned because the saints are mentioned as being the ones who the Antichrist is targeting and making war with. Saints are believers. Those who are sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Those who are saved are saints. We're not Catholics that believe that only certain people have achieved sainthood. No, the Bible's clear. All believers are saints. And therefore, uh, just because the church isn't mentioned, uh, the believers are mentioned. The saints are mentioned. <laughs>